Welcome to Keeping Up with the Chaldeans first annual barbecue fest. I'm here with my main boy uh, Tyson Yono. He's filling in for Junior Yono because I mean sorry, Junior Bindu because Junior Bindu's in the competition. So we're gonna uh, go station to station to see what these guys got going on, how their uh, uh, ribs are progressing, and then uh, we'll ask them some questions and hopefully they have some answers for us because we demand answers, right, Ty Ty? We we're looking forward to our first annual barbecue. Here oh, we yeah. go. This is Junior. Oh, in the junior. Yeah. So this is Junior Station. Yeah. Junior's on the phone as always. Yeah. And always in the wrong place at the wrong time. But Whoa. Right. So are these baby back ribs or are these? Uh, St. Louis style. St. Louis. Louis, Louis style. Spear ribs. Okay. So what can you tell us about them? Uh, I don't know. He bought these and seasoned them and I'm just here getting them to town. Oh yeah. You're just um, watching them making sure they don't uh, overcook right. or whatever? Keeping them in line. Why don't you tell us who you are? Um, my name's Dan. I'm a buddy of Juniors. What up, Dan? Uh, you admit that? Oh <laughs> <laughs> no shit. We got problems now. Yeah, we got so Dan, uh, years ago. what what uh what what kind of flavor are we gonna get when we take bite into these? Uh, they're a little sweet, a little tangy. I mean, your traditional St. Louis style rib. Mm. Did them over charcoal with some pecan blocks in there and some applewood. Oh wow. So, Important question that a lot of people that uh, barbecue. What kind of grill are you using? Or it's a barbecue. Yeah, just a Weber charcoal grill. Okay. And then we have the, the coals to one side, a water pan to the other, to do indirect heat, keep it slow and low. And so I saw you guys uh, cooking up something. Was it charcoal or what was all that heat that oh, was going on? Yeah, just a, it's a charcoal stack, a chimney. Okay. You start it there, and then you always have it hot coals ready to go. And it starts it faster without the uh, fluid. Good deal. Fluid have you got a chance to see any of the other uh, chefs out here? I haven't yet. A little bit. Of, yeah, I talked to one a little, but pretty much I've been staying here. Okay. All right. And then, uh, what kind of ingredients do we throw into something like this, or, or what's the cook time? Uh, cook time usually I like to do five to six hours. Mm. A little press today. We got them done in three and a half. All right. So, but that's not going to bother the flavor at all. No. No, right. just a little different method is all. Oh, you got to stay on them more, watch your heat more. Yep. Junior's the man. Yep. Yep. Uh, season <laughs> yep. them up nice. That's for sure. We look forward to trying them. <laughs> hard, man. Hard. Right. Thank you. Yeah, you bet. Yeah, yeah. We're here with Jeff Brizzo. Yeah, Jeff. What's up, Jeff? In there. What do we got? Where's our grill? Well, we're saving the best for last. So okay, okay. It's Jeff coming has, around. So what Jeff are you cooking up? Trays here. Two, uh, two bones per uh, correct per ju each yes. judge, each right? Yes. Okay. We got and, the ribs, uh, wings. What and kind of style uh, ribs you got going on? I like the traditional southern style. So it's just all dry rub. Okay. And then uh, towards the end, that's when I uh, add my. Uh, it's like a, a, a light clear sauce. I got the recipe. For, well, I shouldn't say where I got the recipe from. Then I'm giving it away. Oh no! You can tell where you got the recipe from. Rodney Scott barbecue. Rodney Scott? Yes. Who's who's Rodney? He's Scott? very well known in South Carolina. Okay. Yeah. And uh, and how many times have you made Rodney Scott's recipe? A uh, good four or five times. Ooh, so you're pretty, I, I even like his method over uh, Aaron Franklin. Okay. Do you have some kind of contract with him? Every time you make ribs, you have to give a shout out to him? <laughs> that is fair. That a is big fair. shout out to Rodney Scott. There you go. My, my opinion, the best barbecue, the best pit master right. in the U.S. And then who do you have out here supporting you in your uh, quest for the Everybody. first annual Keeping Up with the, the, the Chaldeans barbecue You know what? I just fast. I came here for good times and good fun. Okay. And if either way, even if I don't win, I still won. What do you think your chances are? One in seven, one in six? Uh, one being the best? No, a one in number. Oh, Because there's okay. six people. Yeah. There's six contestants. I get there it. That seven, method, yes. But I don't know what you did to the other guy. I don't know how you, you, did okay. you kill him. Or you know, know what? We'll just see top three. La, la, la. All right. Yeah, there you go. That's excellent. Top three. That's top your prediction. Three. That's my prediction. We can do it. That's fair. Oh, Great. one more question. Yeah, what yeah. kind of uh, griller are you using? I use uh, this is a Weber Virtual Bullet Smoky Mountain. And this is a sauce that uh, I did a lot of research on and for quite a few years. So I have my own little method to it. Okay, so you got a hot plate. You're, 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 you got to heat up the, the. I do. I like to keep it warm, just kind of like it blends in and mixes it together. So you and then I slap it on. I do. Can you can you lift that or will it? Uh, I, I could. No, I mean I could real quickly. I don't bother him. I don't bother. I've heard him see it a million times. Hey T, that looks good, man. That's legit. That's legit. Never trust a skinny chef, right? <laughs> Especially when you're horizontally gifted. Oh yeah, for sure. Okay, well, best of luck to you, Mr. Rico. Yes, sir. Best of luck. 
Let's go see uh, Mr. Uh, Anthony over here. Oh, looks like Anthony Boji. Oh, he's he chopping him up. Plane. Hey, I'm waiting. Are we turning I'm, in or what? Don't have a knife at me, homeboy. I got to go. <laughs> Are we turning? No, no, you're good. <laughs> I might. So let's uh, let, hey, let's uh, let me get one for the uh, for the cameras. <laughs> oh, 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 Caribbean jerk, St. Louis style spare ribs with island rum barbecue sauce finished with a roasted pineapple and habanero glaze. Come and get it. Hey, come here. Go ahead, baby. Watch it, watch it. Don't drop the gold now. Big green egg right here. Big green egg. Give me one. Give me one. All right, I got Ant. I got Ant. Okay. Free judge. Free judge. Watch, watch is gonna have enough for the judge to get his squad by Maybe does it just fall off the bone or what? Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay so hey, while we're standing here, we're gonna talk to you about your ribs. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. How Go long have you been cooking ribs for? Um, probably like uh, two years. Okay. okay. Yeah. That's good. Years. Just well, what's your, what's your shirt hobby? say, bro? So my shirt says grilling and chilling and refilling. Because right. that's what we're doing today. Yes, sir. And then on the back, oh. you got my little Are Instagram account. Oh, it ain't little. It ain't little. So follow me. Yeah, follow me. <laughs> Let's do this, baby. Yes, sir. Okay, we need your prediction on the rankings. What do you think you're going to rank? Out of well, six six I was... Six here. I'm hoping to differentiate myself here with these Kirby and Jerk ribs. Okay. I'm not going with the traditional route, which I assume everyone else is going with. So I felt I risk a move. Is a risky move? High risk, high reward. <laughs> How are they? Great. High risk, high reward. Great. It's different. Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm going for. I'm going for different. All right. A little tangy. I like it a lot. A little sweet. A little sweet. A little sweet. A little got some sweet in it. A little spice at the end. A little kick. Is it like fall off the bone type? It's fall off the bone. I Improve. That's the question. Oh, let Ark have a ball. Let's see what happens. Let's see what time it. Let's see. You know what time is it? Yeah. Looks good so far. Show him the smoke. Show him the smoke ring. Show him the smoke ring. You got the smoke ring in here. It's really good smoke ring in here. You got. You know, which one? He's got the crust, really good, and shiny and beautiful. Second test is when you take a bite. Do you see your teeth marks? You can see teeth marks. Do you see the teeth marks? Let me get my car washed. I got unlimited membership. Oh, we need a dentist. Get my money's worth. Those ribs are tender. Ah, and they're delicious. Nice. What do you give it? One out of ten. It's a new flavor for me. Yes. That's what I'm going for. I'm going for a new flavor. Will we see this? Will we see this on Arkin's barbecue menu in the future? I think so next week or so. Okay. Okay. Arkin approved. Arkin approved. It'd be, it'd be a special day for these ribs. I think it's gonna be like a, like a J Jamaican style. Ribs That's what I'm going for. With a pineapple sauce. That's what I'm going for. Oh, got him right. Know? You see? Unbelievable. Can, what can I start working on Arkin? Anytime. Okay. So, Mr. Uh, Boji here ain't all talk. He's legit. Oh, come see me, baby. Hey, sh turn around, show him the crowd that's around you. Yeah. It's I brought the, the family. It's, it's the conjo blood. blood. It's the conjo blood. It's the conjo blood. Let's see what you got. What you mean, Scotty got it, bro? Let's see. Let's Scotty see. Scotty got it. Bro. Really? Scotty right. got it. Scotty, I love a dry row. <laughs> yeah. See what we got. So, so we got Scotty right here, yeah. Marinated Scotty. overnight, smoked them, looking good. All right. So right now these are dry. You can put a little sauce on there if you want. Okay. You got enough left for the judges there? To the host. Oh, to the toast. <laughs> no, no, go ahead. Go you want to eat meat or what? No, I, I will. I, I just want to. <laughs> Wow. Man, oh man. <laughs> well, talk to us how you made them, why, why Anthony's trying your Yeah, while I'm, while I'm busy, you so, talk to uh, him. I do, I married him the night before in a dry rub. Okay. Then uh, the next day, obviously oh, today, true. take them out. I use three types of woods. I usually start off with uh, apple hickory, okay. and add another type of soft wood. 
and uh, just smoke them away. I try to keep them at about 225, 225. How long? How long do you? More than. If, if, it, if it's consistent, 225. Four hours is, is the right. Yeah. How long were these ribs cooked for today? Uh, today, about three and a quarter. Three and a quarter. Okay. Yeah. So. So. This guy's been uh, testing the ribs while we move along. The taste tester. Yeah. yeah. This is the, yeah these uh, are the unofficial right tasters. Yeah, they were. Anthony Acho is a taster today. Let's, just for the record, not a judge, but a taster. Yeah. yeah. He's no judge. He's a, just a, a champion. Yeah, he's <laughs> just a CFL champ. <laughs> oh, baby, I'm excited. Wow. Right off the bone. Yeah, I love it. It's a homemade sauce, Br um, brown sugar, ketchup based. So uh, there's a little heat in there they should get at the end. So now Anthony got to try on the last uh, stop that we we're at one of the predicted best ribs around. Just in comparison, you don't have to give a be best winner. How, how I'll say it? this: it, it, they're different, it's very different, both delicious. There we go. As far as being a judge, I'm not doing. That. Well, hey, you never know there's going to be spots open next year. Oh, man. Most likely going to be picked. I'll be excited to do it. <laughs> Tell me a little bit about Rental Bounce, though. Rental Bounce, uh, you know, party rental company, the best in the business. Bounce houses, tents, tables, chairs, arcade games, anything you need, just call us, rentabounce.com. Thank What's you. About, what about the number? What about 248 906 8368. Oh. Give us a call. JT. Guys, we're on our way to JT Toma. JT, no, uh, Jonathan Toma. Here we are. I have my ribs already uh, plated up, ready to turn ready to turn into the judges. Yes. And I have my chicken wings here if you want to get a close up. Everyone, sit down so you don't fall down. Yeah. Oh. Bacon wrapped chicken wings. What the fuck? That looks good. That looks good. Wow. <laughs> they are good. Well, got good, luck, good luck to everybody. Got and, uh, <laughs> may the best pit master win. Is, is there any way that we can get a preview of your ribs? Or Well, here they are. I boxed mine up okay. already. Okay. And here's here, the, judge right there. Here's the remainders. Here's the remainders of the ribs that everyone not a big judge. Okay. okay. Would you mind giving one out to Anthony? Anthony's Absolutely been not. Along with us and there you are. Anthony, the Gravy Susters. There you are. This is good. There you are. We have napkins for you. Wow, there's a lot food. of meat on that bone. Wow, yeah, there is. Good thing Anthony's okay, got a big Anthony. bone still. Wow. How is it? It's delicious. Enjoy. A little chewy. Because that's good a good texture. Here, you said a little chewy. Good, I like it. Great Try texture. this piece. That's what the judges will get right that's there. That's what the judges are going to get. This is a harder They're piece. They're going to get the filet. You got the. Uh, that's how it's supposed to come out. That's good. Shaka laka. <laughs> that's already boxed up wow, the so I gotta yeah. save those. Right, right. Similar taste so to, to that one. As far as flavor. Still a little different from uh, uh, Boji. But um, yeah, it's really good. Hey, we should tell, it's gonna be a tough we should tell the story to the, to the, to the kids. Right? No, no, we don't need all, no excuses. Why don't you tell me you're fucking around? What's this? JT, is that, oh, yeah, yeah. Is that what's in there? That's Anything? done. Finish that. Let's real see. Oh. <laughs> There's his ribs. There you go. These yeah. are the ribs he's gonna turn into the judges. That's the guys. boneyard. This is the these are diet ribs. Diet ribs. You will no, not vegan. gain vegan, vegan and diet. You will not gain an ounce of weight with eating his ribs. There you are. The best ribs in town. Uh, if you're on a diet. JT, best of luck to you, man. Good thank luck. you, thank you guys. Mr. Guma. What up? We're here to uh, investigate your plating okay. skills. All right. No pressure. No, oh, no, there's a camera in your face, but no, no pressure. pressure it's all right. yep. Talk to us about your ribs on how you made them. Anything special that you'd like to... We're not to... distracting you at all, are we? No, you're good. Okay. You're good. Um, you know what? My mother always taught me that if I'm going to do anything, do it with love. Yep. This is where it's at. So you can have the best recipe in the world, but it's the love that's going to take it to Of course. Me. So um, we uh, obviously we're, we're in the shadows of the king right here. Uh -huh. I'm not the king. I'm just a guy who makes good, good barbecue. That's it. Um, mine was simple. It was a, a three, two, one style. Um, we we're basically gonna, um, you know, clean them up, throw that rub on there, let that sit in. On the, you know, I like using the butter, the honey, the brown sugar. I try giving it that bark. Um, obviously, a little bit of a distraction here and there, but 
May the best man win. All right. That's it. And so, did you did you get involved in the wing con competition? Or I no? did not. Uh, I didn't do the wings, but I, I I did have some just for people to eat and cook. Yeah. And uh, I did start out with like 40 of these, um, and I think there's maybe only. <laughs> bye bye. So. Bye uh, bye bye. Well, since you yeah. shot on that. So. Um, I'm Right. I'm trying to say something for my wife who just had arrived right had there. Had a wing so. had a wing <laughs> Great so wing. There you go. Oh, and these nice. are just a dry rub. I'm a big fan of Obey. I don't like uh, no pressure on the wings. Just make them so, taste good. Use the Orbe products on your hair, you said? <laughs> no, <laughs> that's it. That's it. <laughs> and now, are you, you, did, you smoke, did you smoke all of your stuff? I did. I smoked Traeger? everything today. Traeger is the way to do it. Traeger, um, huh? This is simple. It keeps things easy. Basically, all you do is just set it and forget it. I hate to use those terms, but um, you still got to watch over it. I had a little more pullback than I like, but I'm picking the strongest ones. And What's the pullback mean? Just what you see here in this bone. Mm -hmm. um, you know, oh, I, I, all right, right. I, I, you know, if this is the first year, so you know that's that's probably not going to win in a competition style. Mm -hmm. um, well, you don't, you never know. If someone tastes the taste the love out of it, they may fall in love with them. There yeah, you go. and I'm Put hoping what they get. I hope what they see is the smoke ring that I got here. But obviously, they're all going to have that. And I'm just hoping that they, they see those juices and they just enjoy it. Take a bite, enjoy it. And if I'm first, that's great. Um, if I'm last, it's also good too because uh, this was clutch. This was nice. If you ain't first, you're last anyway. Anthony did a great job. This, this guy's an uh, ambassador to our community. Thank you. And uh, you, you guys don't know how great that is. It's, it's, it's nice we're getting that push through. I think we're at 150 strong. Yeah. Um, so I think we just, uh, you know, make good decisions as a community and uh, raise good men. Mm -hmm. That's and a great good message. Good men and women. Of Coming course. from a great chef, great barbecue. God bless, brother. Thank, Thank you for participating. We enjoy good your luck. Thank you. We enjoy. Yep. And uh, the chili's. The chili. I mean, the chili is. Um, he wins. I'm, he wins the chili every year. So I'm a three-time chili cook-off champion. Um, I just brought some just for people to try. So. Yeah. Um, awesome. That's it. Thank Thanks, you, brother. Guys, Best of luck. In closing, I'm not gonna. In, in closing, I'm not gonna make a prediction. But Tyson wants to make one. He can. Listen. Let's just say this. We have a two-year performer versing people with 20 plus years, and I think he's going to bring them a strong competition. All right. May the best man win. Absolutely. This is our first keeping up with the Chaldeans and Chaldeans barbecue, spreading love and happiness. Yep. No sickness. No sickness. Social distancing, baby. <laughs> what do you guys taste? Uh, what do you think? How you doing everybody? My name is Gus, aka Food Porn Detroit. Started my blog like eight years ago. It blew up into something a little crazy. Everybody supports it, so I'm happy to be here at the Keeping Up with the Chaldeans first annual barbecue fest. Delighted that they invited me to be a judge. Appreciate that invite and uh, we out here trying to make this happen. And don't just live life, taste life. We out here, right. baby. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Everybody, name is Bobby Hesley, uh, Catholic evangelist, Catholic speaker, truth teller, real estate investor. I'm out here at uh, Keeping Up with the Chaldeans, who I consider my people. We're all Catholics, united under the Holy Corbana, Blessed Mother Miriam. Just here tasting, being one of the judges, I'm honored to be, and uh, just glad to be here. Hello, Michael Asaki, Zip Sauce. Um, just here having fun, keeping up with the Chaldeans. Thanks to Anthony Toma and Junior Binu to put the Chaldeans together and put us on the map on a few things where a lot of people had no idea we were in any type of businesses that we're in. And we have a broad spectrum of Chaldeans that are in every type of business. And we took it to the night next level on a bunch of them. And we appreciate them doing that and putting us on the map. Make it good. Make it good. Don't fuck up. <laughs> You're not according to his language, are you? Good. <laughs> Hey everyone, how's it going? It's me, Anthony Gathao, formerly known as Father Anthony. A blessing for me to be a part of the community and serve the church and our Chaldeans for so long. I'm so honored and so blessed to be here with the Keeping Up with the Chaldeans, the first annual barbecue. Amazing to see the talent that our community has. Amazing to see how hard our Chaldeans are working, making it to the top. 
I'm so blessed to be next to Anthony Toma and Junior Bindu who put this great event together. We are truly are a blessed community. I'm so glad to be a judge, to taste the wonderful food and see how awesome our Chaldeans are. God bless you and God bless our community always. Obviously, because I'm a judge, but everybody, all the other, all of my other uh, compadres here, think that that last one that we tried was great. I was a little, I don't know about that last one, but I don't know. I, I, I wish all the contestants well. I, I think, I think out of all of our expertise and everybody that we know, we're gonna get the job done. Yeah, it should be a fair score. Yeah, it should be a real fair score. That's what it's all about. Fair score. Bobby Hesley here. I thought they were all great. Last set of ribs I had, I gave him a 29. Five on everything else, four on the aroma. Just want to say thank you to all the cooks. Very talented, very dedicated. Glad to be a judge. Thank you. Thanks everyone for letting us be a judge. Um, everybody did a great job. All the ribs were good. Uh, all the chicken was good. Everybody did a really good job cooking. Um, unfortunately, not everybody's going to win, but it was it was nice to, to judge and have fun with everybody. And all the judges, kind of intermingled with each other and gave us our good points and bad, but everyone did a great job. Great job, everyone. Anthony Cathal over here. Just want to say that it was a lot of fun, but better than tasting the food was walking around and watching them make it. Their techniques, their sauces, their ingredients was absolutely phenomenal. So it was a lot of fun tasting everything. I'm proud of our community. Sad that not everyone's a winner, but yeah. in my book, I feel great. Everything tasted good. I'm proud of our people. Congratulations. First annual Keeping Up with the Chaldeans Barbecue Fest. Yay! Yay! Wow, that's we got on the other side here. So uh, we want to thank everyone for coming out and supporting. We want to thank all the contestants. We want to thank all the judges. We want to thank the valet, all the sponsors, and everyone else, and uh, the whole Keeping Up with the Chaldeans crew. That everyone did a great job. Thank you all for coming out and supporting. We're going to uh, run down the. Uh, the winners, and they're all winners. That's where we're gonna name all six of them. Okay, so we're not going to uh, run through the whole list, but we wanna thank all the participants for uh, taking the time out, cooking, and uh, filling all our stomachs up with these delicious foods that we enjoyed today. Ribs, uh, wings, uh, we had some chili today too, and everything else. Uh, special thanks to uh, Carlo Cusa out there in the back. Thank you, Carlo, for helping us out all day today. Thank you for everybody else too, of course. Uh, so uh, I'm gonna have uh, Junior run down the winners. Do winners first. Yeah, I'll hold it. You hold it. Yep. So second place team is gonna get the drench, uh, the drench gift certificate. All right, we'll, st we'll start off with the uh, the wings since there was only a few competitors on that one. Uh, second place, we'll start off with uh, team two, whoever was team two in the uh, group. That's me? Okay. <laughs> winner, winner. Winner, winner. Winner, winner, chicken, winner, chicken wing dinner. All right. All right. Okay. Thank you, and then, uh, Thank you, Tyson. First place is team number three. JT! Oh! Jonathan Toma. Thank you, thank you. The wings were pretty big. Thank oh, you. Yeah. Hold that bitch out. <laughs> oh, wow. Look at this. There you go. Okay, so thanks everyone. That, that plate is donated by Brett Dressing. Brett! Okay. So, Jonathan Toma, congratulations. First place, brother. Thank you. Thank you. Wing King! Now, on to the rib competition. There was all six competitors. 
Everybody did great. We all had a blast doing it. We started off early and uh, it was a fun time working with all you guys as being part of the first annual uh, cook-off. This is going to go on not just this time, it's going to go on many more times. So let's announce the uh, winners. So we'll start with the third place. Team number six. Team number six. There we go, Anthony Boji, team number six. Thank you. Thank you, Evan. Thank you. And that's a gift Thank from Alluria Skin Care. Thanks for coming out, awesome. brother. Congratulations, you, brother. Man. Congratulations. Thank you, everybody. Awesome. Barbecue with Bones. Yes, sir. All right, second place. We got team number four in second place. Oh, yeah. All right, Scott Hayes. Good job. You're going to get the box for first time. Congratulations, Good job. brother. Good job, baby. Thank you. All right. <laughs> yep. Okay, so this is going to be for the big green egg. Um, let's see. Wow. Team number seven. No, I'm just bullshitting. There's no seven. No, there he is. Team number five. Come on down. Team number five. Man. What the fuck? Team number five. Yes. Here we go. We did it. He went back to back. We did it, baby. Oh, wow. Thank you, everyone. Thanks. Hey. Wow. Good job. Thanks, everyone. Hey, to all, to all the other competitors, everyone did an excellent job. Congrats to everybody. Oh, my God. Woo! Speech. Speech. So, again, thanks, everybody, for coming out, you guys. We're going to be doing this yearly. This is going to be something that's going to go on as long as you guys will be around. And we appreciate all the sponsors. There's so many to name off, but you can see them all over the place. From yes, Happy yes, Pizza, Loria, to many more that are out here right now. So we appreciate each and every one of you guys. Anthony, you got something to say. All right, guys, don't scramble. Come here. Everyone, a big thanks to Anthony and Junior for this together. Yeah. We want to count in. Thank you, guys, for everything. God bless you I thought you were going to say something. Right? I thought you wanted to grab the mic. <laughs> yes, he does. Wow. He does. He yes, should. Come on up here. Yes. Yes. Can't get you on the show, so whatever. <laughs> Alright, well, I just want to give a big shout out to Anthony Jr. What they do for our community is amazing. Thank you. God bless you a hundred times. You guys are amazing. It's so good that we have their voices out in the community, getting to know all the Chaldeans. Our prayers are with you, our support is with you. I can't wait for the second annual barbecue next month. Right. Sounds good. God bless you, everyone. Thank you. Bobby, why don't you come up here and say a few words, my friend? Thanks, Aaron. Gonna be a Rizzo Marapa for the second annual? Yeah. Second annual Rizzo Marapa. There we go. <laughs> So hi all my Chaldean people. I call you my people. I know I'm black. I know you guys are Chaldean. But a large number of you here are Catholic. And that's why you're my people. That's what unites us is the Holy Corbana and our Blessed Mother Miriam under Pope Francis. I have a lot of respect for you guys. Honestly, I was just going on my little morning walk in Thailand. I mentioned you guys in passing. I grew up around Chaldeans. Without you guys, I grew up in Brightmoor. I grew up on food stamps, all the welfare you th that you can think of, Section 8, food stamps, SSI, free lunch at schools, you name it, I was on it. And without my Chaldean brothers and sisters, we didn't have cars, we didn't have enough money to go out to the suburbs to get groceries and school supplies. If it weren't for your guys' grocery stores, your party stores, all the different stores that you guys had in our neighborhoods, I, I, we wouldn't have had food. You guys risk life, limb, and mental health to have your stores in our neighborhood. I apologize on behalf of my community for any slayings, any murders, any, guy, any of you guys got robbed. Um, I apologize for that on behalf of my community. I really thank you guys for everything you've done. You deserve every dime, every penny of success you guys have. You guys came to this country and showed all the other minority groups how it's done. You come from nothing and you become everything. I love you guys. Thank you. Thank you. the slayings or the robberies or whatever. That was a few and far between. We enjoyed every second. We love our communities. We love our black communities. We love being in that community. We made endless friends in the community. 
We've had support and love and everything from the community. We've given back. They've given us everything we have. We love you guys and we love everything about all of our communities. Anybody Catholic, Christian, everything. We all need each other. We're all one family, one love, and one life. So who do we got? Anybody else we got? Where is Gus? Gus, you here? Where is Gus if we can find him? He was one of the judges. So you guys, so there's still some food that's going to be left out here. If you guys didn't get a chance to try some of the chicken or the ribs, feel free. There's containers that are left here for you guys to be able to sit through. There's a lot more food. There's food in the kit or food in the garage that's almost like a kitchen. And there's so ice cream in the garage. There, there's ice cream in the garage. There's so much you guys can go eat, you guys. So have fun. Do your thing. This was one of the friendliest protests we could have probably had in this uh, state of Michigan. So thank you, guys. Keep it up with the Chaldeans. Ah, and, and you guys, we had, we had, we had, by the way, if anybody didn't get a chance to try, the French vodka, we've got some Stoli Dolis over here. This is a Michigan the Michigan French Dolis. The, the French Dolis, they're, they're, they're homemade, so you guys give them a shot, they're over here. You guys, uh, they're a Michigan brand, so it's good to support them too as well. So we appreciate you for being on board, brother. Thank you guys. Everyone go enjoy, and again, love from the Keeping Up with the Chaldean team. And uh, Anthony, here you go. Uh, Sarah, thanks for coming. Lena, Ma, Ma, I love you. Gabby's, Gabby's, Gabby's Gardens, of course, everybody. I love you all. Thank you, Ohoka, everybody else. Thanks, you guys.